Say this to you again, you're a thief. I'm not mincing my words. And if you're going to throw your father's name in the mix and say because your father's a billionaire, he's going to contact the IGP, your father said to you that um, he's going to handle the situation, I promise you, I will embarrass Mr. Adeliki. Uh -uh. And I need not be... Abu Salami is calling David Do a thief again. A thief. And this time he decided to narrate everything that happened between himself and Debido and how Debido took his money, how they went into a deal, Debido never fulfilled, everything and how he reached out to the family. In fact, as of today, he said Debido is threatening him with his own Bilonia father. Debido is saying his own father will handle the matter. The father has so much influence. How about now? Well, like I've said before, this is just one sided. We have not heard from David Doe yet. David Doe addressed Dami Crane matter, but he never addressed Abu Salami issue. So let's listen to Abu Salami. 72 hours. Negotiation between myself and David Doe for him to return the finances, which I gave him, um, I stalled. He reached out to me through Larry Gaga and said, um, Larry said to me that um, we're grown men that this need not be something that's on social media platforms and that obviously David's reputation, my reputation as a businessman is on at stake. Well, that's neither here nor there anyway, but the main thing is negotiations are stalled because um, David cannot come up with the finances. We've given him options to pay installments. We've given him options to pay half of the payments and um, he's come up with his egoistic attitude of trying to bully people and trying to bully me. First, let me say this, David, that would not work. I say this to you again, you're a thief. I'm not mincing my words. And if you're gonna throw your father's name in the mix and say because your father's a billionaire, he's going to contact the IGP, your father said to you that um, he's gonna handle the situation, I promise you, I will embarrass Mr. Adeliki. And I need not be saying this, but I will embarrass him because I won't be bullied. You're either going to pay me back the finances or have a problem to deal with. And that, that decision is yours, really, because that problem is literally me as a person. I will not stop fighting. I will not give up. I will not be relentless. I have 46 boys in the camp that I have to feed every time. Not once have we thought to check on their welfare. How is Abu doing it? We had a business transaction, and I'll say it to the public. What was our business? Very simple. I want a contract for 500,000 US dollars. And I approached David and I said to David, David. Okay, first, before we start going to the business transaction part, David Doe is saying that he's going to deal with Abu using his father. That his father says he's going to handle it. That's according to Abu Salamio. Does that mean that David Doe cannot handle issues again? Everything I papa, I papa, I papa, I papa, I papa. Just exactly what Bonaboy said before. Well, like I've said before, this is just one-sided though. We have not heard from David though. I'm just speaking through, speaking, reacting to what Abu Salami is saying. So do not misunderstand me. Abu Salami is the only person addressing this issue. David has refused to address somebody that is calling you a thief. But you address Dami Cray matter. Well, I'm still going to do kind Dami Cray video. And of course, I'm going to post it so you guys will see it. But let's still go back, let's hear about the transaction. What actually brought about this old money? David Doe is way richer than this. David Doe get money, he get money. So why is David Doe not agreeing to reform? If I'm David Doe, I will not reform because I, uh, I have somehow promoted some and some. So I think the, better, the best place to go eh, to resolve this matter eh, is court. Well, let's listen to the business transaction. Come into business with me. Influence this project. If you influence this project, we stand to make X, Y, Z. I opened up the business plan to him. And he thought this is a lot of money. Because it is a lot of money. Football business is big business. And he said, Abu, this is a lot of money. When I went and spoke to his sister first, his sister tried to negotiate the deal on behalf of David. Because she said to me, you know, this is fantastic. This is a good project for David to help his like I'm doing now, I will drag you to the depths of hell. You will be frustrated. You would hate yourself. I promise you, I wouldn't give up. And you can't bully me. I have not committed any crime. 
I am fighting for what is mine, my rights. So yes, go and bring your dad. I promise you, I will embarrass him. If Mr. Adeleke will not tell you that, David, what you have done is steal from this young man, spoil his business, affect his life, affect the chances of him getting sponsorship, destroy his, his sponsorship. If he's going to protect you under the umbrella that is a billionaire, I will drag him too. Anybody you bring, I will drag them. You're stealing from people and you're living a false life to impress who? You, you've put me in all kinds of depth. I don't think you've realized the damage you've done to me. Maybe because I'm a strong person by nature and I am not going through some kind of mental issue right now. Because you know what my family has been doing for me in terms of making sure that I am right, that today I can sit in front of this camera and talk to people? Do you know what I've been, do, have you got any, does it even bother you? That, that what you do to people when you take their finances and you don't do your obligations as a person? Do you know what 500 million is today? $500,000 contract is today. That's 500 million naira. You can't afford to give me that. You can't afford, because if you can afford to give me that, you're not giving it to me without all of this force. I have tried to mediate on going halves. I've tried to mediate with Larry Daga for you to um, um, pay in installments. Both times you've not been able to do it. We've called meetings. I've sent you several, several messages to do the right thing for the last six months. You've blocked me on social media. You've blocked me on WhatsApp. Same with your lawyer because you guys think you're smart. And you can get away with this because you're a big brand. You cannot intimidate me. I have the text messages you sent to Larry Gaga. I have all the text messages you sent to Larry Gaga talking about um, your father's weights and your father says he wants to handle this project. From now on, he wants to um, he wants to see him take him to court. You drag Mr. Adeleke. Mr. Adeleke, hey, oh, Mr. Adeleke. Ah, you're right, a bastard. Hey, oh, Mr. Adeleke, you drag him into this our issue. A billionaire businessman. Yeah. He called David Doe bastard. <laughs> he said David Doe is a bastard and David Doe is living fake life. What the hell? What kind of insult be this one? Huh? A thief, bastard, and living fake life. These are the three names now. A thief, a bastard, and living fake life. See, David Doe get money. Hmm? Let me tell you. Let me see, let me tell you this, guys. People will find it really, really hard to release money. Eh? In case they have any case, eh, are the rich people? They hardly re release any money. You cannot just swingle, swingle them like that. They should just go to court. Don't be the same, David. Do you know how much he donate to charity? Let me say, David, do they call, they give person money, give some money, give some money, give some money, give some money. Man, this is embarrassing, man. This is seriously embarrassing. Come on, man. How much did David do a contract? How much did David do the cash out? Hmm? You know how much he did the... If this guy perform one show, he don't make that money times 10. What did it happen? Eh? What is happening? David do, do, do buy a, 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 a Maybach, 500 million. So what is happening? That has the track record of doing legitimate businesses. So everything we have done in terms of negotiations to try and mediate so that you can do the right thing has fallen to pieces because you can't afford it. Or maybe you can't, but you just don't want to pay it. So real thing, it is very easy to collect money, but to give it out is a problem for you, David. Omar Linier, if you drag your father's name into this thing, I promise you, and I'm saying it again, David, I will embarrass him. If you drag the idea of police into this, I will embarrass him too. I have not committed any crime. I haven't committed any single crime other than fight for what's mine. So I will not be intimidated, David. Do the right thing. Nigerians, I beg you to talk to him. Do the right thing. I got your text messages from Larry. You say the governor, Adeleke, has called you. Your father has called you. You've written petitions on the IGP. I don't know what you're writing a petition for. A petition that you stole my money. You took my money and you did not do the work, the job you're supposed to do. Is that what you're writing a petition for? You're not going to get away with this one, mate. I promise you. Either way, we're going to find a resolution to this. But if you want me to drag your name 
and you bring your father's name and I drag your father's name into this as well. It's up to you. As a person, I am not a rude person. You said to me that I have to apologize to Mr. Deleke uh, um, for some things that I said. I haven't got a problem. As long as you pay my money, apologizing to your dad if I've insulted him in any means, shape, or form, it's not a problem for me. Why not? But let Mr. Deleke, your father, see my anger and my pain. Is why I'm doing this video today. And I hope he gets to see this. And I say this to Mr. Deleke directly. Mr. Deleke, Daddy, Muni Parafuni, David in Jali. David steals from people. He throws his weight around. And I have had numerous occasions where you have come to his aid to pay the finances of monies from projects he has done that he's not been able to fulfill. Daddy, David in Jali said, David is stealing from people. He's ruining people's lives. He's ruining my life. I have 46 kids in the camp. I need to feed every day that I can't feed. I am struggling to feed them. Mr. Dileke, I say this to you again. David in Jali, he's a thief. I'm not missing my words. I'm not missing my words. What other way do I coat? Do you want me to sweeten it and sugarcoat it? And what do you want me to do, David? Time after time after time, your name is coming up on social media for Owen and you're, you're an idiot for Christ's sake. The son of a billionaire went to good schools, had proper good home training. You have a sister and a brother that I am aware of. Like, why do you have to do any of this because you want to stay relevant or because you're a superstar? Why? The finances you make is not enough for you. You want to have the best cars and the best jewelry. And the... David, when it comes to the issue of my security, David, I am not afraid. I sleep in my house every day. Every day, if I'm not in the stadium, I'm in my house. If you want to send people, I am not somebody that's hidden. I've worked with numerous of celebrities. You can come to my house. I don't have a problem there. But what I will tell you is this, David. If you believe you're going to throw and bully me with you being a cultist or whatever, David, again, you will fail. You will, look at me. I'm too clean. You will fail. I'm telling you. I have a text message where you're telling me to join the confinity. Confront, is it, is it, I mean, what do you guys call it? Confraternity, I mean. Fraternity. Fraternity. Fraternity, is that what they call it? I don't even show it, but more more. More, can you really? More more. I have that text message. David, do not implicate yourself any further. Please, I warn you. I will expose you. I will drag you from now to tomorrow. I'm a clean boy, though. I'm a clean boy. I just want to make money. Live a good life, look after my children, look after my football children, and do well for my. Well, that is Abu Salami. He also called David Doe a cultist. <laughs> they call him a bastard. They call him a thief. They call him fake life living. And he's calling on his dad. He's actually say your, your son is a thief. He's stealing for people. Ah, that is an insult. David don't need to do something, man, 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 David don't need to do something. People need to go to court. They need to get the truth of this matter. And you guys need to handle it amicably. Need to handle it amicably. Well, let's listen to one of uh, David O's guy, uh, special, who speak on this issue to tell us exactly what he knows. Yes, yes, this guy is. Abu Salami. Usually I would never speak on shit like this, but just the fact that if you really know me, you know I'm a real nigga. This project, you brought it to me in 2017 in Lekki. I told you when it's mature, when it's ready, we'll push it, we'll handle it. Cool. When you brought it to me ready, it still wasn't ready. I didn't charge you my $20,000 consultation fee. Based on real nigga. You brought your proposal of 200M. I told you make it 500K dollars, which at the time would have been 300M. I expanded it for you. I made corrections to all your proposals. I went through everything, removed all the mistakes. I told you 
to put one x bet i told you that every brand that david is endorsed to can actually be part of it because it is football apart from mattel because we're looking for underage players i did all i could do i informed everybody i told you to be patient you were impatient we agreed whether it is david whether whether it's not david i would be operations manager and i would have five percent of the company which would be 10 but i said no problem there's enough money to go around if we do it the right way i gave you names of all the brands to use i gave you names of the brands that we would do trade by batter with of the brands that weren't our brands but can feed into it because it's football and it's very big in africa long story short abu you didn't give me one kobo i did not eat one naira you tried to be fast believing that oh if you reach david direct you can cut costs this that i told you that for i told you that for this project to move even though the money comes from behind initially it will cost you a million dollars just to get david on board you had a problem with bobo you had a problem with asa from the get-go without even speaking to them you already had issues with them that are ah, they say it's a this they say bobo that blah 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 i told you asa is my younger brother bobo is my younger brother i will talk to them for you let us do this thing properly so i'm going to post about five screenshots on my story just so that it can be shown that i showed you how to do this thing in your impatience you went to meet somebody else met somebody else tried to cut me out stopped replying my messages believing that you had arrived now it has backfired now you've used david's image you've got some videos you've done this done that the money you're complaining about the image and the videos you've already used already match up to the amount of money that you are complaining about now i like to be behind the scenes i like to enjoy life i like to just live life you only live once so me i'm an enjoyment guy let me just enjoy my life but you brought my name into it like i was bad to you or like you gave me money or like i ate some money which i did not So what you are doing now, believing that you are tarnishing David's image is that, mind you, I believe everybody needs a second chance in life. Mind you, I also told you that even though you had some other things that your hands are not clean, don't worry, we will see how we'll fix it so that we can move ahead, which me and you know that you have done, that you did. That will make you not a suitable person to do business with. But okay, everybody deserves a second chance in life. When you got money from the first brand, I said to you, be patient. You can still get money from other brands so that we do this thing properly. I told you that we will shoot it on a higher level with equipment, with Oibos. We will partner with like Marriott Bonvoy since their umbrella is big so that these boys won't be in any camp they will have hotels to stay in they will be fed it would be proper when you got that money you rushed to buy a house buy a car carry women this one that one i was watching abu where is my paper where is my money where is this when it came to you rushing that you wanted to have a meeting with david i said to you came back to me that you just want to have a meeting one-on-one -on -one in person. You have some money. I told you that money is not enough. I said, okay, since you haven't paid me, you haven't given me my papers, pay me so-so amount. I live in Banana Island. I will carry my phone. I will call. I will give you access code. I will tell David you are coming for a meeting. Pay me so-so amount. You said, oh, no, that means I don't see the vision, blah, 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 like I'm stupid. You then found another person that will take you to David took you to david you paid that person times two of the money i asked you to pay me to have the meeting you had the meeting you thought you were on you started doing 
all this because of your own greed just the money that you could get out first for yourself you don't begin the chop life they enjoy the funny thing is this whole money you are shouting about is less than just one show money so we can decide to say oh this show that's coming let's go and do the show carry the money give a boo but the money is not even yours but you are shouting blah 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 after shouting, you now said, oh, they should pay you 4.5. That only 4.5 million inside the home money is your own personal money. And they should pay you 4.5, you will stop. Brother, I'm only doing these videos just to clear my name. I like enjoyment. I don't like stress. Thank God I don't feed into the drama, the bullshit, the comments, to this. Because I am built how I am built. Mm-hmm. Well, that is just a small narration from someone close to David O. That is special. Honestly, let me be completely honest. That money may have put the ass of her. One David O show money and that time, theory of that money. The theory of what he put the ass of. So now, and I get the entire story, there was no money involved. Those money Abu is still talking about this from sponsorships. Is from sponsorships. So nothing like uh, pay the video money, going into a business, swindling a uh, special. Well, like I've said before, the videos may the video just shoot and the appearance, appearances, it don't even pass that money. So it might be that na na bu salami they will hold the video set. Let them go to court. Let them go to court. Simple as that. They never even need to shout. It go that they will do those submit petition. So Abu Salami go and answer. Then they charge the matter to court. Simple as that. You know, that one side we just the year for. Thank God, special have spoken. Well, guys, that is all for.